what are you seeing as far as uh, some of the uh, uh, benefits of this system for students? I mean, uh, what would you want students to know if they're saying, hey, I want to try this? Uh, do you have any sort of recommendation that you would give them uh, as to how to most effectively use the tool? I think the thing is, first of all, let, let the tool give you the appropriate level. Again, you're always tempted to say, can I push the envelope? Mm -hmm. But actually, from a learning standpoint, that's not always the way you learn best. Okay. Um, allow it to give you the right level. If you take an easy test, don't worry. It'll give you a harder one next time. Mm -hmm. um, but, but, but you almost have to have trust that the program's working. Mm -hmm. Um, stick with it, establish a good routine mm -hmm. so that your study becomes a, a good study habit. Okay. Um, cramming for actuarial exams just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. it, it takes time, it takes patience and perseverance. That's why actuaries make the money they do. Okay. Um, employers want not just the technical logical to pass exam, but they also like knowing that you have the discipline mm -hmm. to pass an actuarial exam. Mm -hmm. And so employers view it not only as technical competence, but pass an actuarial exam also tells them you have the ability to focus. Mm -hmm. Because when you're doing insurance rate making or insurance reserving, they want somebody to focus on this because you're, you're dealing with millions of dollars. They want mm -hmm. somebody who knows what they're doing mm -hmm. uh, sure. with them. Right. I always think of it in terms of sports. Uh, they're not looking for the sprinters, but they're looking for those marathon runners, ones that will stick with it and be there for the long haul. So you don't necessarily have to be the brightest student, but maybe persistency is uh, certainly one of the key elements. 